Welcome to the Support Portal Demo from Candy, an AVC Technologies company. To gain access to the Candy Support Portal, you will need to go to the landing page of the Candy Partner Portal. This can be found at partnerportal.candy.io backslash knowledge. Once on this page, you should select the support tile. Next, under Cases, you'll see a link that says Candy Support Portal. On this page, you'll see a link that says Click Here to log into the Candy Support Portal. Please note, if you don't have access to the Candy Partner Portal, please send an email to customersuccess at candy.io to receive your credentials. Once you click here, you'll be prompted to enter your login credentials. This will direct you to the landing page of the support portal, which will display important contact information as well as hours of operation. Over on the right, there's some helpful links such as how to sign up for the Candy Partner Portal and our Candy documentation. What we wanna focus on now is the menu that goes across the top. So the Home tab will take you back to our Candy Partner Portal page. My Cases is where you will find all of your open and closed cases. And Candy Documentation will take you back to the Candy Partner Portal to access our Candy Documentation, which is the same link as you can see here. Also at the top, there's a search bar where you can search for cases by the case number or name. And then you'll notice a drop down menu that's next to your name once you sign in if you need to log out or see your account or update your profile. So what we're going to do now is click on My Cases. Once you click on My Cases, the default display will show all the cases that your organization has opened with Candy that have not been closed. If you want to change your view, you can select the pull down menu next to My Open Cases and you can see the list views that are available to you. So all cases will show you all open and closed cases, all closed cases, all open cases, or my closed cases and my open cases. So the difference is these are all the ones from your organization and these are just the personal ones that you've opened or closed. So you can view any of those. Now what we wanna look at is how to open a new case. And then we'll come back to this screen to talk about um, the options that you have from here. So if you come over to this tab that says new, an applet will display giving you the ability to enter the information for your new case. The first thing you'll want to do is enter a subject. So that could just be a quick description, like cannot make outgoing calls. Then you need to make a description for the problem that you're having. And this needs to be as detailed as possible. You may put something like this. I cannot make outside calls from my SIP phone. Confirm the class of service is set correctly, but I cannot make outside calls. So this gives just a little more information for the person working on your case that you've already tried this solution and this doesn't work. So they know they can bypass that. Then you wanna put the impact. Um, who does it impact? Is this impacting you know, the president of the company? Is this impacting all the operators? So you might want to just put, um, you know, operators cannot make outgoing calls. Okay, so that tells us who it is and what, how it is impacting them. The next thing you want to do is pick the severity of your case. So our scale is a one to four with one being the most severe and four being the least severe. A severity one is something that needs attention right away. And because of this, you cannot physically open a ticket with a severity one. It's gonna prompt you to call the number um, 1-833-77-CANDY, which can be found back on the homepage of this portal. The reason for that is that we'd like to begin addressing your issue immediately. 
Um, so that doesn't mean that a ticket won't be created. It will be created by our service department and it will be able to be accessed in the portal, but we'd like for you to call so it can uh, begin getting fixed right away. Um, if it's a severity two, which is just a little less than a severity one, not something that you need immediately, let's say in the middle of the night, but it can wait. Um, you could do a severity two, three, or four. Maybe something that, hey, we just need to get to this. This is something that's happening that's maybe annoying, but it's not affecting workflow. Okay, it might be something like that. So we'll just give this one a severity two for now, just for test purposes. Um, you'll need to choose which solution this is. So we'll say UCAS. Um, and we will say that this is affecting voice calls. And then um, the end customer, so VX operators. And then the customer ticket is just an internal number that you can use to track this case. Ticket one, two, three. Um, let's see, the case owner will default to the person who's opening the case, so in this case me. But that doesn't mean that other people in your organization won't be able to access this ticket and to input information into this ticket. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So after you filled out that basic information, that's pretty much all you need to do, you want to hit save. After you've saved it, a hyperlink will be created on the home page. So we'll, we'll come back to this in just a second. Um, but let's go back to the My Cases. And we'll come down here and find our ticket that we just opened right here, okay? So if you click on it, you'll be able to get updates. So one way that we give updates to one another is through the notes field. So you can create a new note for the people that are working on your case by just entering a note. Um, so you might enter like say a date and say um, at you know, 12.45 p.m. another incident occurred. Um, can I get an update on my case? Okay, and that way you're telling the people that are working on your case, um, Hey, I had another incident occur today. This is when it happened. That way they can then they can look it up more specifically. And then you're asking for an update. So you'll hit save note and it'll go into this box. Now from the other end, the people that are working on your case can also write notes and answer you in this field. If a note is added or anything is changed in your in the details of your case, um, you'll receive an email that prompts you to come in and look, but you can always come back in here and say, all right, I, I sent this message on 921. Did I get an update? What's going on? Another really helpful field is this related tab right here at the top. So if you click on that, it gives you the option to upload files. Let's say you have a SIP trace or a call log or a screen capture CSV file, something that would be helpful to your caseworker um, to see what's going on with the issue. You can hit upload file. It'll pull up a search box that you can find your document and attach. You can also drag and drop documents here into this box. Now, if we go back to the My Cases tab, You'll notice that we have a lot of severity ones in here. So as I mentioned earlier, even if you call a severity one in, a ticket will still be created for you so that you can come in here and check on the updates um, of your case. That concludes our demo for the Candy Support Portal. If you have any further questions or need help with a ticket, you can contact our Candy Support at 1-833-77-CANDY or 1-716-77-CANDY. You can also email our customer success team at customersuccess at candy.io or our training team at candytraining at candy.io. We look forward to helping you.